Horses are on the track for race six. Hayes Memorial for two-year-old trotting fillies. Win, play, show, exacta wagering. Scratch the seven, Del Martha. Here are the starters. Number one, Don't Dawdle, owned by Adelaide Skogland and John Johnson, trained by Sweden native John Johnson. He's in the bike. Number two, Lexi's Chip, owned by Ron Michael on of Chicago. The trainer is Tex Motes of Fairfield, the driver Dave McGee. Number three, Southwind Flanders, is owned by Chuck Sylvester and Neil Goldman, trained by Sylvester with John Campbell in the bike. Number four, Jiu-Jitsu Hanover, owned by Brian Penske's Table, Incorporated of Downers Grove, Illinois, by Nick Barbieri of Ontario, trained by Brian Penske, the driver, Andy Miller. Number five, Southwind Roselle, owned by M.T. Bowles of Kevill, Kentucky, trained and driven by Randy Gerald. Number six, Charms Lass Cosmos, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, John Johnson trains, and Bert Lindstedt drives. Number seven, Del Martha, is scratched post time in three minutes. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Southwind Roselle grabs the racetrack. Charms Last Cosmos on the far outside. Southwind Flanders kicks in down toward the rail. Southwind Flanders, Southwind Roselle. These two come to the front together, and Southwind Roselle moves up on the outside for Randy Gerald in the black and white driving colors to take the lead by a length and a half. Southwind Flanders settles into second for John Campbell. Two more lengths to Don't Doddle, who's racing in third. Jiu-Jitsu Hanover goes fourth. They're all single file. Charms Last Cosmos is next to last. Lexi's chip trails. 29 seconds was the time for the opening quarter. Southwind Flanders leads it by one length onto the back stretch as they move down the back straightaway. Southwind Roselle about to give way as Southwind Flanders now gets ahead in front after making a move to the outside just before the three eighths. Flanders leads Roselle, two more lengths to Don't Doddle, then Jiu-Jitsu Hanover Charms last Cosmos. Lexi's chip is last at the halfway juncture. So, Southwind Flanders and John Campbell on top. Southwind Roselle goes second by a length and a half, and then Don't Doddle. The half was reached in 59 seconds flat. Heading to the final turn, Southwind Flanders shows the way comfortably here by two lengths. Southwind Roselle is next, and then Don't Doddle, who's racing in the third position. Jiu-Jitsu Hanover fourth. Here comes Don't Doddle off the rail from third into second, still one length off the lead. Southwind Flanders trying to give John Campbell back-to-back -back wins on today's card. Leads at three-quarters of a length. And Don't Doddle is there in second. Jiu-Jitsu Hanover was making a move from third, but broke stride and drops back. Three quarters, 129 and three. Top of the stretch, Southwind Flanders leads it by a length. Don't Doddle is second by seven. Then Southwind Roselle followed down the stretch by Charms Last Cosmos and Lexi's Chip. Final try here on the outside for Don't Doddle chasing after Southwind Flanders. Southwind Flanders holds her off by a length and a half. Don't Doddle still second. Southwind Flanders hangs on by a half length. John Campbell never asked her for anything, and Southwind Flanders wins it. Don't Doddle was home second, 157 and four. In the photo for show, number six, Charms Last Cosmos was third. Number two, Lexi's Chip was fourth. Into the winner's circle, the official winner of race six, number three, Southwind Flanders, second straight win for trainer Chuck Sylvester, driver John Campbell. Southwind Flanders, a two-year-old filly by Lindy Lane, owned by Chuck Sylvester and Neil Goldman, bred by Southwind Farm in New Jersey, just her second lifetime money start. She is now two for two, picks up a new lifetime record here today. Her sire, Lindy Lane, raced here in the World Trotting Derby as a three-year-old but did not win. And you will notice her maternal grandsire, Mac Lobel. 
Some of you might still remember when Mac Lobel was upset in the World Trotting Derby by Napolitano back in the late 1980s. There have been some strange things happen in the World Trotting Derby, some unexpected things, and Mac Lobel defeat that day is one that ranks high in people's memories. Of course, Napolitano proved himself to be a great horse as well. 3-1 exacta, $8.20. Rundown is next.